everybody, Cherish the Messy Painter here. Today I am working on an ocean swirl, this time on purpose. Um, I don't know if you saw the other one where I wasn't trying to make an ocean swirl and what happened was um, I was trying to do a pleat, the pleated design and it didn't work and I ended up just doing an ocean swirl and I fell in love with the ocean swirl. So I'm gonna do it again, but this time I'm gonna do it on this 12 inch round. Uh, I got this at Jerry's Autorama. Is pretty much the only place I can get decent um, rounds, so I'm gonna keep going there. My colors are Abalone by TLP, this little piggies. I have a mixture here that I'm not gonna use a lot of. This is Nebula mixed with Abalone, and it has this really pretty, like greenish gold, uh, I don't even know what kind of color, like a dusky blue. Uh, but when it dries, it might dry a little grayish green. So I'm gonna just sparingly use a little bit of this. And then my other color is the Pouring Masters Dark Sapphire Blue Metallic Pearl. This um, I can only get on Amazon. I usually buy a pretty big jug of it. It is my favorite color. It sells on its own. I don't know if that's gonna happen today. We'll see what happens. I have Franken paint. That is going to be my base right here. This is leftover paint. It does have house paint in it. It's just an interior um, semi-gloss, uh, I mean, semi-gloss enamel uh, white paint by Valspar. And then I have right here, I have a little bit of the metallic pearl white by Modern Masters. So I also have my Australian Floetrol mixed with Amsterdam titanium white. And I am going to try doing this and make a mess. I meant I'm gonna try not to make a mess. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I am so scared to spin this right now. Oh my God. All right, I have to just stop being a chicken and just, just spin it. I'm gonna spin it slow. Oh my God, oh my God, I'm freaking out right now. What you cannot see is that the abalone is popping through right here. I wanna spin it more so more will come through. There's some right here too, but the composition is so perfect, almost perfectly in the middle that I'm afraid 
I'll start getting all wonky cells. Okay, that's it. I can't spin it anymore. That's it. That's... I really hope this comes out. Like, I, I don't know if the cells are just going to completely take over and you're not even going to be able to see the wave anymore, but this is just, oh my God, it is so stunning. All right, so I'm going to try to hold this up to the camera because I'm not moving the camera because I'll probably drop it onto the painting. Um, but in the middle there, which is disappearing, is a little bit of that nebula and the abalone that I mixed together of the TLPs. So I can already see that um, the house paint is not reacting well with the rest. So I'm already starting to see some weird like cracking look to it. All right, I am going to reserve my judgment. Yep, more and more of the little fractals are showing up in the middle there. So I was super excited when I first did it and now I'm questioning what this is gonna look like and kind of wish I didn't torch it. All right, well, we'll see what happens as it dries. Even though the cells have taken over, I love it. Can you see that shine from the macaw? Oh my God, it is amazing. I cannot wait to varnish this. I'm gonna varnish it and then show you guys that at the end. But I just wanted to show you, the cells completely took over. And I believe I know what happened. This is from watering down and adding so much Floetrol to my house paint, which is a semi enamel gloss, semi gloss enamel. So that is why I have this crazy, crazy cells that popped out. That's my fault, but it's still awesome. I love that macaw. I was actually thinking of maybe even taking my paintbrush and adding even more of the dark blue in there. So I might do that at a later time, but I will show you guys that as a part two if I do decide to do that. So if you like this project, please give me a thumbs up and I will see you all in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. And if you are subscribed too, thank you very much for coming back. See you guys soon. It really depends on the light that hits it, what colors you will see. This is just absolutely gorgeous. I cannot wait to do more with different colors. And here comes the dog. <laughs> Ignore my grass, we can't grow grass here. But look at that shimmer and those colors. Oh, beautiful. It's that abalone by this little piggy is beautiful. Well, I hope you like this video. I will see you all in the next project.